Doxygen is a command line tool for generating HTML documentation from source code. You may have seen it in the SASJS core macro library um, on core.sasjs.io. You can click into any macro, get a description, and go right in and see the source code as well. And we've now integrated this into the SASJS CLI, the command line tool. So say if you're going to create a new project uh, from a template such as jobs, when that project's created, it will also include the relevant doxy files, such as the, the doxy file, the, the header, the footer. So uh, you can see this if you go in the SASJS folder in the, uh, it's just still generating, here we go, doxy folder, uh, and here's all the config. Now to make use of this, you don't actually have to touch this folder at all. It's uh, fully integrated into the SASJS config file. So say if I was to add a new folder, say my jobs in the jobs folder there, and then update the config file to say, right, this is a, a new folder for jobs. It's gonna be jobs by jobs and save that. Uh, now I go into my new my jobs folder and create a new uh, job.sas. And then I've got to follow the doxygen header format. So two slash two asterisks. Uh, that file means it's a file. Brief is a small description. And uh, at details is longer description. And this can also be markdown based. So I'll do a bullet. And then we can also follow the standard SASJS syntax for in, in compiling macros. So if I do SAS macros in heading four tag, close that off. I can compile any macros I like, such as uh, MF knobs for number of observations, and then uh, some user defined macro. Great, so then close off that header, uh, write some code, invoke a macro. That's the job done. So let's go ahead and make that macro that I called user defined. I'll put it in the macros folder. And then I will create the header again, file, brief, close that off. And there's a, I've defined a job and a macro. Now, in order to build that documentation, all I need to do is type sasjs doc. I can also put an output destination. If I don't put an output destination, it will get built by default in the sasjs build uh, temporary folder here. So now if I open this folder and then click on the index.html and here's my documentation here's the my jobs folder we created here's the job.sas uh, I can see the the description I can click on my macro that I defined and uh, go to the source of that as well so if you'd like to install this you go to the github repository <clears throat> and uh, scroll down and there's the the command npm i for install g for global at sasjs cli